just to give us a couple extra inches. Again, always important to use barn wood if you can find it. I'm going to take off the negative terminal of the battery. Set that aside. And then we're going to take off the passenger side wheel. So we're going to jack up the car a little bit. Truck your rear wheels. We're going to break loose the lug nuts before we raise up the vehicle. This is a 21 mil. And just break them each loose. Jack up. Put your jack stands underneath there and lower your jack. Get your jack out the way. Remove the lug nuts. We're going to get in behind this cover here. As you can see, starter's right behind there. So we're gonna have some access. We're gonna pull this off. So just pull out these plastic clips. One, two, three, four, five of them. I'm using this little tool here. You could use screwdriver. Hopefully they don't break, they're really old. And if they do, you can replace them with some Amazon specials if you buy a kit of those. But um, it is kind of like that. All right, we'll keep pulling those off. We're going to remove the brackets that are holding the brake line on. We're not going to disconnect the brake line, but we're going to move these bolts here. There are two. There's a 12 mil here and there's a 12 mil on the other side of here. This we can do with a socket. This one back here will have to do with an open end or a, a box wrench. Um, and that gives us better access. And then I think we're going to remove this dipstick tube for the transmission, uh, automatic transmission tube. There's one. All right, we got the 12 mil ratchet and wrench on there. Another one, same length. So now we have this loose. We can kind of move it out of our way a little bit without putting any kinks in it. Just give us a little bit extra space. We're going to remove this one bolt here that is holding the dipstick tube on so we can get out of the way and we're going to pull it. It comes apart in half. So we'll pull the half off of the dipstick tube and we'll stick a piece of paper in there so nothing falls down. But this is a 12 mil. Attaches like so. That's the bolt. Set that aside. And you can see your brackets nice and loose here. And if you look down there, you just pull straight up. You have a little rubber gasket in there. And your dipstick is actually all the way down in there as well, obviously. Set that aside. So you can see the other half of the dipstick tube here. We're just going to put some paper towel in there so nothing can fall in when we're messing around. There we are. 
So we're going to pop off this clip just with a screwdriver. You don't want to manhandle it too much because you want it to go back on. All right, came off, didn't break, that's good. We're gonna put that back on. Doesn't look too corroded in there, which we're happy about. And we're gonna take that plug off and there's a plug behind it, which we'll take off afterwards. This one's gonna be taken off with a wrench or a socket and the other one behind is gonna to have to be with a screwdriver and your hand. All right, this one was a 13 mil for me, kind of a weird size, but that's what's on there. And I'll show you the ratchet from down below. All right, that's our ratchet setup. I gotta use two hands to get up in there. Got extension, I got a little swivel and a deep 13 mil socket. So take off that nut. Once you've loosened it, you should be able to get it by hand pretty easily. It's a nut and a lock washer. And then that cable comes off. Looks like they had a couple of lock washers behind it as well. Now we have that wire behind it which we're gonna have to get our hands up in there and pull that off so now we're gonna focus on this plastic clip right here so there's a little nub towards the back of it and you basically are going to press on that nub and with the other hand I grab the wire and pull on it so mine's pretty clean if yours is messed up you just got to be careful you don't overdo it so you're gonna press on that little nub there and pull the wire at the same time I need two hands so I'm gonna have to put the camera down while I do it right so I it just pops straight out so this is the hand i'm talking about you just kind of pull on those wires at the same time you're pressing on that nub with a screwdriver and your wires free so now you have both wires free <clears throat> now we just need to focus on those two bolts that are holding it on which will be on the back side there towards the rear of the vehicle we'll work on those next all right bottom bolt 14 mil breaker bar and an extension she's pretty tight so you're gonna have to put some leverage on it I needed the breaker bar the top one's gonna be more of a challenge okay so we have a swivel bit 14 mil socket on that a couple of long extensions Got a breaker bar and a cheater to go on the end of the breaker bar. That top nut was very strong, very tight. What the cheater bar looks like, part of a tube, put it on there. We cracked it loose. Now that it's cracked loose, we can switch over to a ratchet. swivel on here once you break it loose it's not very tight and you can mostly do it by hand with your extension take out the top one first because the bottom one's easier to get to. Right. That's the bolt. That was not coming out without that uh, 
swivel bit. All right, we'll get the bottom one off and go from there. Bottom bolt. Set that aside. And now your starter is loose. Figure out how to get your hand up in there. You can see it wobbling around. So we're gonna try and grab it, see if we can get it to the wheel well first. Right, we're taking this brake line that we loosened up earlier, we're just kind of move it out of the way so we're not kinking it, putting pressure on it. And we're gonna try and get that starter through this wheel well hole here. We'll see how it goes. Getting closer. Got it that far, so we'll move this brake round, brake line around a little bit so we're not kinking too much stuff. There she is. Care for your lower back, it's not light. Your starter, match them up. This looks to be slightly longer, so we're gonna hope it fits in there. Might be more fun than angling it to get back in, and we'll find out. We're gonna try and start sliding this. New one back underneath here. Finagling it in. Make sure you turn it around <laughs> the correct direction.
getting closer. All right, so get it close to where your bolts line up. You're gonna have to go down below and up above. Um, quite a few people said this wasn't gonna fit. On Amazon, they said it was half an inch too long, uh, but it seems like it's fitting to me. Um, not even on the back side of this room, it was a little bit tighter, I suppose, but we're in here. All right, so we got it close. Now we're gonna start those bolts. Starting this bottom one because it's easier to get to. And lifting up on the starter and wiggling it around gives you an easier time so it's not binding up. All right, we've got the bottom one started. Now we'll get the top one up there, which will be more of a challenge. Apparently not as much of a challenge as I thought. It was just so tight when I was taking it out. <clears throat> Whoever cranked this thing down really cranked that top one down. Which wasn't very nice for the next person that came in. All right, we'll tighten those up. I'm not gonna really torque on it with this, but I'm gonna get some of the leg work done. and we're gonna I'm not gonna be able to get a torque wrench up in there so we're just gonna hit it by hand to make sure it's tight enough give it about that much sorry I can't tell you exactly how much it is but you don't want to overdo it <laughs> and you don't want to underdo it remember to put in the clip wiring harness harness press that in make sure it clicks which it did and then we have our bolt we're gonna have to or we're gonna have to screw this one on with the new nut that came with it Helps if you have a little bit of Andre Iguodala arm because not a lot of room to get your arms around this stuff. Storm's coming in. All right, we got that started. We're gonna tighten that up. Don't forget to put your plastic cover on. We'll do that next. So we'll get this tightened. About that much. Okay. It's 
on. We got this plastic piece cover. Snappity snap. Goes right on there. She's installed. We're going to want to put our brake lines back in place. Reverse of how you took them off. They got these little things on the bottom which plug into these holes here. And then the bolt goes through here. So find the one on the back side. Do the one on the front side. This is what it looks like on the back side for the free climb bracket. Get your 12 millimeter wrench. Hopefully you have a ratcheting one like this. Makes it a lot easier. And then when you're done with this one, get the front one. And front one. Give it a little snug. You take out your paper towel you shoved in. Keep all the dirt out. And we'll feed this back in. Just plugs back in down there. All right, here's the joint, the dipstick tube. Push that in. It goes together. Make sure it's well seated. We've got our one bolt, which goes in here 12 mil you want to tighten this up nice and snug dipstick tube is back on seated well down below we'll put our flap back on the little plastic clips. Start with one. My clips all seem to make it out alive, so I don't have to replace any of them. But if you do, I suggest getting a replacement. There's a kit of them on Amazon. They're pretty cheap now. Different sizes. So that's what we have. That's the kit that I end up getting. We'll open it up. And we'll see which one approximates this. I think I'll grab one of these. Looks about right. Slightly different style, so next time we come back in, we'll have to use a screwdriver pop those out but it's nice and snug now those are back in place and that was the last part now we got to test it so we'll hook up our battery the battery's got some gunk on it so i'm going to clean that terminal off clean this off a little bit
That looks better. And then we'll do the inside of the terminal as well. We'll put a little bit of this terminal protector on there. On the outside. And we'll snug her down. Tighten down the terminal. Moment of truth. Started. <laughs>